What's up, y'all? Welcome. This is O, Prince of the Chubby Clan. Back at y'all with another Chubby Clan workout. Now, before anything else happens, I'm about to give out some more shout outs. I want to shout out Richard from work and Brandon from work. I want to shout out Johnny. He sells shoes and, and clothes and sneakers and stuff. I was trying to get his info. I don't think I got it right, but I think he told me D-L-E-U of Las Vegas. He sell Jordans and Nikes. He say he try to stay with the, uh, he, he say he try to stay with the latest of everything else. So if you watch this video, Johnny, man, put your website and what you gonna call it into the comment section so people can see exactly what it is that you're working out. I mean, working with, but shout out to Richard and shout out to Brandon for subscribing to my channel because I appreciate me having such a fresh channel and people messing with me because they could have said no. They subscribed to my channel in person. I appreciate that. That was good looking out. Um, but so with that being said, I'm not an ungrateful person. I recognize that when somebody does something for you, they got to take time out. They did. They got to give you their attention. They got to give you their words. So anytime somebody help help you out or even hear you out, you got to understand that they're taking time that they taking time and energy away from themselves to give to you. So when people do stuff for me, I'd be so, so grateful. There's a time where people did things for me. And I used to be salty because my pride wouldn't let people help me out. I'm not like that no more. Sometimes I am. You know, you know how feelings are. Feelings are just feelings. They come and they go and it's just feelings, you know. But that, I appreciate people messing with my channel. I expect this mode to be successful. But here we go. Let me step to the side. This is a, this is a power tower or a pull-up station. That's what this is called. We got the dips right here. We got the, uh, whatchamacallit. We got the pull-ups right here, specifically hammer grip. I forgot they call these they call these pull-ups a different name too. I call them hammer grip, and they call them something else. I had got this off of Amazon. It was like 119, 1, 129, 139, 149. It was one of those nines before taxes. And I had bought this joint. This was a personal investment. I bought this so I had no excuses. This wasn't really supposed to be for me to use on a daily basis. This is supposed to be for me to use in case it's too cold or too hot outside. Or I couldn't make it to the gym or something like that. So, ain't no excuses that I'm right here. Got the, uh, if you get down there, you can probably get you some push-ups. You got this little thing right here. Throw some punches. Try to throw a little punches on that. You know what I'm saying? Right there. That's with them hands a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got to let them hands fly. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to condone violence, but you got to let your hands fly. What if, what if, what if you get into it with somebody? Do you really want to be out there getting knocked out? Like, let's be real, homie. I'm not. Shoot. If I have to get in a fight, I prefer I win. I don't care who I'm fighting against. I don't want to lose. You lose. Straight up. But I try to stay out of a fight. See, the problem is, is that normally they might be the bigger man and walk away. But what if somebody just still on you anyway? What if you can't walk away? Then you got to fight. So let your hands go. You know what I'm saying? Stay in shape. Just in case you get into with somebody. But don't start nothing with nobody. And it, and it shouldn't be nothing. And if you and if and if you can walk away, walk away. So what if your pride makes you feel like you're a punk? It is what it is. It's better for you to be a punk and for you to be alive and going about your day, just a feeling, than for you to be shot or have your nose broken, jaw broken, something like that, man. But you gotta defend yourself if you need to. I'm doing dips. That's what I'm doing. We got all sorts of pull-ups though. We got the wide pull-ups. We got the wide. And then we got the, uh, what you call it? We got the hammer grip, like I said. And then we got the close grip. So, yeah, I got this mug right here. So, I'll be messing with it. Let me hit this water real quick. The dips are the same thing as the rows, all right? We're going to do four sets, of, we're going to do three sets of 16. We're going to do some crunches after that. Uh, see, the difference between dips and rolls, I feel like they're about the same, same, uh, what you call it? I feel like dips and rolls are at the same level of difficulty. For me, pull-ups are the hardest, and dips and rolls, second hardest, push-ups are, are the easiest. So with that being said, we're going to try to squeeze 16 out.
Okay, let me open this door. It's warm as annoying in here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try the same thing as last time. Same thing as last time. I'm going to try to give y'all, uh, what you going to call it? I'm going to try to give y'all two sets before the camera cut off. <clears throat> if I can get three in there for you, I'll get three in there for you. Shoot. But anywho. <sighs> Yeah, so that's one set. Nice one set. I told you I don't play around. I stretch. Forget that. I don't know what you heard. Yeah. So, from what I from what I heard. I don't watch the news and stuff, so for what I heard, you know what I'm saying? I heard I heard that the president hasn't been elected yet. Normally by this time they'd be done with the county. I don't vote because I don't know those people. You know what I'm saying? They get I stopped voting. Last time I voted it was for Obama for a second term. And I just voted because I felt like it was a responsibility. But then I said forget what the rest of the world what everybody else is saying. I personally felt like I was choosing the lesser of two evils with voting stuff. Or I was picking from strangers. And guess what? The truth is about life is that the people who make the rules don't obey the rules. It's always con it's always common folk, regular people, like you, like me and you, who have to obey the rules or face the consequences. So it don't matter who's president at this point. Whatever they do, whatever change they, they make, whether it's lawful or whether, it, whether it's social, we're just going to have to wake up the next day and do the best we can anyway. So I didn't vote. And another thing is... Uh, 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 another thing is I heard that they talking about shutting down stuff again. So it's sending people into a panic and folks are starting to trip over uh, water and toilet paper, putting, be putting people back into that, that scarcity mind state and causing that mass hysteria. Man, it is flat out depressing how gullible and how silly people are, man. Folks go for anything, dude. They go for everything except for the truth, man. What the heck people be thinking? Anywho, so that's what I heard was going on. I don't really watch the news, man. That stuff, it be monkey business completely. That news. Because the news anchors aren't really people. I noticed that when I was young, because the news is always spelled with bad news. It's just going ahead and call the news bad news. And then I'm like, how can all those people sound the same? How come all the news anchors sound the, sound the same? Because they're actors and actresses. They're playing a role, reading a script. And the thing about the news isn't that they're actors. It's that they're picking out stories, leaving out. They're omitting certain facts about stories to put a direct message into your brain. You know what I'm saying? So they're doing the thinking for you. Talking about brainwashing. Folks be brainwashed, man. Folks be watching that news. That news be having folks so paranoid. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear that crap. Because when things hit the fan, them same people that's trying to tell me what to do, they're not going to help me out. You know what I'm saying? So whatever with that. I got my own plan in life. Whether I fail or succeed, it's completely up to me. But I can't simply just let other people make decisions for me. If I do that, then I'm not me. I'm not, man, look, dude. I ain't got all the answers. But I can't live a life like that man i don't trust people to tell the truth i don't trust people like that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what god wants me to do and i'm gonna do what uh 
what I want to do. I don't know about all these strangers trying to make my life what they want to make it. I'll make it whatever I can make it, and I'm going to have to be satisfied with that. Yeah, man, I'm heavy. I know, I know. Folks probably think, like, what you doing? Only doing three sets. It works. They must be getting me. <sighs> Where we at? 11 minutes already? Okay, I might be able to break this other set down if I do it fast enough. But, you see, I do what I can. I do what I'm able. Yeah, I should probably be doing more. I should be further along. But, this is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? This is where I'm at. Progression will come in time. And shoot, my money's clean. So what can you say? Shoot. Not only do we get money, we get clean money. Fresh, pressed, right off the Federal Reserve line. Clean money. We get clean money. Try to, I try to say, see, the point of me and me being a truth spiller is not that I'm some revelator. I'm not revealing mysteries or secrets to y'all. I'm just saying the things that most of us already suspected. But I'm telling you, there's more truth to suspicious thoughts and actions in this world than we think. I be saying the things that most of us have already considered, but realize that that's not the most popular thing, so it must not be right, since everybody else is not on board with But it's real. And another one I'm about to drop on y'all right now, is that if you wanna get things done in life, motivation will help you for a time. So will desperation. Being motivated or desperate, it springs you into action, you know what I'm saying? But those are just feelings. And then uh, desperation is a feeling, and desperation is also caused by a situation. Motivation is more of an inspiration, it's more inspired by somebody else or a situation. The best way to get through life, if you want to uh, do well, is discipline. Take the time to practice something, to make good habits, and put that into you, and so you can keep acting that out. Because... We don't have motivation or desperation or inspiration. What's going to be there to keep you doing what you need to be doing? It's going to be discipline. Okay? And remember, try to remember if you can the reason why you started something. There are things I started and I had quit. And I had forgot the reason. I forgot my cause. Don't forget your reason. Don't forget your cause. And uh, it don't matter if you fail or not if you learn. That's why they say, they say there's no such thing as failure, right? Because as long as you learn, you ain't fail. I'm about to try to squeeze these out. Let's see what I got. It's the third set. I'm going to break these down because I'm going to come back for them. I ain't stretched, did I? Yeah, because I want to get y'all these three sets, and I don't want this video to cut off, so I'm going to have to squeeze these out real quick. And I'm going to close this video out.
Told you. Not only am I fat, I actually am out of shape. I'm going to come back for the other six in a second. Whew. I'm going to break these mugs down somehow, some way. I'm going to get them. Yeah, I think I just did it to myself with that one. That hurt. Yeah, I just did it to myself. I can feel it. I should have waited. That's what you get. I'm trying to impress y'all by doing this stuff. I just did it to myself. That's why That's why I don't like to try to... That's why I was never the type to try to show off. You make a, you make a fool of yourself trying to impress other people. I'm up here trying to impress y'all, give y'all three sets. I just did it to myself. I could feel it. I just did myself in, dude. Trying to impress y'all. It is what it is. I needed that. Let's see if you squeeze these mugs out. <sighs> See, the thing about these gloves, they keep you from hurting your hands too much and give you a good grip. But my hands are sweaty. Alright, that's the end of the workout, y'all, for this camera cut off on me. This is O, Prince of the Chubby Clan. That's my power tower, my pull-up station. And those are dips and crunches. Outro.